What is up, everyone? Welcome back to the Screen Fiends channel. I'm your host, Gavin. And today we're going to be talking a little bit about the new Hocus Pocus sequel and some of the controversy that this new release has generated. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more movie news and reviews, specifically horror related content, as it is the month of October, it's spooky season, and I'm in full fledged horror mode. So a lot of new horror news and reviews dropping soon. Again, make sure to stay tuned and hit that subscribe button if you're in to that sort of thing, if you're feeling the spooky season spirit as much as I am. And yeah. I wanted to hop on the mic tonight to talk a little bit about this story, again, related to the release of Disney's Hocus Pocus 2. I thought this was absolute insanity. Apparently, some Christian moms are warning against the quote-unquote evil of this movie. Again, Hocus Pocus 2, probably one of the most innocuous bland and inoffensive possible kids movies out there right now um, but apparently according to some people uh, this movie is going to possess your kid and turn them into a satanist so let's hear from this christian mom a little bit about what she has to say a warning perhaps about uh hocus pocus too let's let's check this out guys a worst case scenario is that you unleash hell <laughs> on your kids this time of- again guys i haven't seen Hocus Pocus 2 yet, but I I have a hard time believing it's that good, that it's that metal of a horror film, that it's literally going to unleash hell into your living room. Holy Fall harvest is heavily celebrated in their household, but Halloween is not. It grieves me, the thought of exposing our kids to darkness. Gooch says there's a spiritual war. Her name is Gooch, by the way. I guess that's her last name. Yes. Gooch says there's a spiritual (laughs) war being waged against homes in America, and Hollywood is part of the problem, and right now, one film in particular. The whole movie is based on witches harvesting children for (laughs) blood sacrifices. In a recent Facebook post, Gooch advises moms against letting their kids watch Hocus Pocus 2. I believe whatever comes in on TV screens, there are things attached to that. I've seen for myself the things that I've watched with my eyes or heard over a TV screen that become manifested in, in real life. Please do tell, lady. Tell me what these horror films you're watching are that are this insane. The evil is literally manifesting in your life after you watch these movies. Again, please release a list of le- recommendations. I would love to know what you're watching. <laughs> Everybody thinks it's fake and innocent but they could be casting any type of spell that they want to. Anything could be coming through that TV screen into your home. (laughs) I think this woman has seen Videodrome too many times. Holy shit. So there's a lot to unpack here. Um, First of all, I wanted to talk a little bit about this part of the video. Harvest is heavily celebrated in their household, but Halloween is not. So that's just straight up child abuse as far as I'm concerned. You know, I'm 100% in favor of religious freedom. And if you want to raise your kids in accordance with whatever religion that you practice, you know, feel free, go for it. I think that's awesome. However, robbing your kid of Halloween, robbing your child of the a wonderful, amazing experience of trick or treating and celebrating Halloween. Some of my very best memories as a kid have to do with Halloween, celebrating trick or treating with friends, you know, dressing up in crazy costumes it's still my favorite holiday to this day in large part because of the memories i cherish from my childhood it was one of the most awesome times of year i would always look forward to it and as i got older and older i got more into horror films and that only fueled my love of the holiday and the season um so you know in large part who i am today is because of those childhood memories because of the fact that I was so enamored by this holiday and all of the atmosphere and spookiness surrounding it. Again, my love of horror films, my love of films in general, I think can definitely be traced back to some of those childhood memories and uh, some of the formative experiences I had with horror cinema. Um, I I guess in that woman's eyes, the evil manifested in my life. um, And it was all thanks to the spooky season. But on a more serious note, I I genuinely do think that's borderline child abuse, robbing your child of these uh, special memories, you know, when all of their friends are celebrating and and they are going to feel totally alone and totally isolated. They, They can't relate to the other kids that are dressing up and talking about, you know, all the candy they've received for trick-or-treating and all the hijinks they've probably got into with their friends and all that sort of fun stuff totally robbed 
of those experiences. And again, I, I think that's just downright child abuse. Um, really, really sad to see. But as far as the whole hocus pocus controversy, totally absurd. This is the most innocuous, bland Disney child movie ever freaking made. It looks like I watched the trailer to this film. And before watching this video, I wasn't even interested in seeing it. You know, the first hocus pocus is definitely a decent kids movie. It holds up. I understand that it has a lot of nostalgia for a lot of people, but the sequel to me just didn't look terribly appealing. Like I said, it looked very corporate. It looked very bland, etc. Cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I wasn't probably going to see it. However, the way that this lady describes it and makes it sound, you know, it, it's going to be a, a freaking Satan fest. Like I said, the most metal horror film of the year, something that's right up my alley. So, you know, maybe I will have to check it out now. Either way, I thought I would share that with you guys. Pretty funny stuff. Let me know in the comments. Have you seen Hocus Pocus 2? Are you looking forward to watching it? Um, are you not going to watch it because of your religious beliefs? Are you afraid of getting possessed? Uh, whatever you think, let me know in the comments. And again, make sure to hit that subscribe button and like button for more content coming soon. Enjoy the spooky season, y'all.